Good morning. Welcome back to Costa Texpina. We're on build day number 256 today. It's Monday, start of a whole new week. Um, we are, you can tell we're getting down to the finishing stages. Our crew size is getting smaller and smaller. Um, today, uh, this morning, so far from the general labor crew, uh, the, the crew that normally works with the engineer, um, <clears throat> we've only got two carpenters and two painters. So um, we'll walk you around, show you what everybody's working on this morning, and we're expecting the landscapers to show up a little bit later. So uh, let's get started. Painters are getting started up early this morning. We're working on drawers. Lots and lots of drawers. I believe most of these are out of the um, master closet. Um, we do have some drawers that are from other locations throughout the house. But uh, Mr. Wilson and Mr. JR are doing Macias sanding and prepping for paint and that's actually what mr wilson's doing here mixing a little bit of thinner and with the paint so we can get it ready to go in the spray gun all right so we'll check back in on these guys in a little bit let's go see what the carpenters are working on all right all right all right on this side of the house um in the garage area mr it appears like mr um alex is cutting down the uh, fiber cement boards uh, getting them prepped for the floorboards upstairs in the attic. So uh, the uh, bro Engineer's brother-in-law mr. Al brought by four additional sheets and Mr. Alex here is uh, getting those cut down to size where he needs them for upstairs In the interim or also at the same time all these drawers here are being fitted into place by Mr. Allen, our other carpenter here. So we're getting those fitted in here in the uh, in the kitchen into the the main island. So get them all fitted, and then they'll uh, take them all back out and take them across the street back there to where uh, Jr. and Mr. Wilson are working, and get them painted. All right, our uh, landscapers have showed up this morning. That's a bonus five of the guys here and they're bringing plants and shrubs and bushes so get these started in different places uh, so right now they're just uh, offloading and we're gonna put them all over here we'll show you these uh, when they get done offloading
landscapers are moving quickly with some of the uh, the new shrubs and trees. What? Virginia what? Ah, it's a Virginia shrub. Okay. Never heard of a Virginia shrub. Looks nice. So all you gotta do is just trim it down. I think in the States we call these red tips. All right, we're gonna take a look going around the house. Look at the uh, landscaping. We're still getting the uh, backyard leveled a little bit. Still working on it in the interim. Our plants are getting placed around the inside of the fence line. Uh, locations on the outside, but not, uh, not planted just yet. So we got, I believe they call these snake plants. Um, basically the idea is supposed to be that the, the sides are the sides are rough and the uh, tips are kind of pointy. So the uh, snakes don't like them too much. Supposed to be red tips, I believe. They call them Virginias here. And then on the outside, those are, uh, there's, uh, we asked for foxtail palms. Uh, don't get very tall, but um, do come out very nice. And I'm still working on the uh, um, it's not a gazebo what the heck they call it again oh yeah the grotto <clears throat> so we're working on putting on the uh, putting the ceiling in so we got the furring strips all the way around see the furring strips here and then they're going to put the ceiling in from underneath and we've already given them the uh, LED light uh, to put around on the inside. Uh, so on the inside of this piece of the ceiling, it's going to have LED lights on down, the way down. So it's going to be uh, pretty bright all the way around, not a uh, spotlight. So that'll be nice when that gets done. Something nice and new to see. Let's take a look. So good, far so good. Mm -hmm. All right, so our good guys from Yonet Air Conditioning are back today and they're doing a installation. So they're uh, <coughs> commissioning our units today. So right now what they're putting in, they're adding in the uh, um, refrigerant into the system and also getting ready to start hooking up the uh, power lines uh, to the remote fuse boxes so those are all being put in today uh, so any other uh, plants that the landscapers brought in today uh, we got these are called champagnes uh, also kind of a foxtail uh, palm and then today they brought in these here so these are uh, they call them dragon balls. It's kind of a bonsai type. Notice it's got all the uh, the wire screen on the inside. Uh, so we'll keep uh, trimming it down, keep it trimmed. It'll have a, a similar shape to our balls up on top. So dragon ball design, dragon ball design down here. And the uh, grotto is coming along very nicely. They're starting to do a little skim um, mud and tape on the top of the ceiling. All right.
Mr. Allen's been working hard in here today. Look, we got six drawers on this side, and he's about halfway finished on this side. We're almost done with these. Next thing is going to be paint. So, they are kind of shallow. We decided to go with shallow shell uh, drawers. Let's see if I can get a fingernail under here to get one open up. Uh, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> he pushed from the other side. Um, so what we'll do is use these for like utensils, uh, different things, whatever Miss Emmy wants to have in her kitchen. Um, like silverware. Silverware we can put in here. We'll just have to turn the, the, the tray for it sideways. Forks, spoons, knives, that, that kind of deal. And all kinds of cooking utensils. So she'll do all that in here. And then we've got plenty of cabinet space for everything else. Let's go ahead and take a look upstairs and see what Mr. Alex has been working on all day today with the um, fiber cement board that brother-in-law Al brought by yesterday. Up the stairs we go. Dun, 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 and into the attic. All right. All right, so we're working on putting the flooring in. So he's got it out a fairly good way is all the way up to the edge. Um, really good. So we can push boxes and stuff all the way to the edge when we're done. And still be able to walk here in the middle, which was the actual main, um, the main purpose of putting all the flooring in was to be able to walk up here and put storage boxes, you know, whatever we wanted to store. Um, this is the area over the top of our dirty kitchen and We got a couple more pieces of uh, Cement board that need to go in right over here. Sorry. It's kind of dark um, And that'll finish that area out, but this will also give us access to the uh, two exhaust vents from our uh, range hoods and I've got parts and pieces coming in for those and we're going to be able to vent those actually to the outside not just vent them in here into the uh into the attic um even our house back in uh when we were in the u.s the uh vent actually vented out into the attic space it didn't actually vent outside but then again it was an electric hood so all right guys This is coming along really, really well up here. As you can tell, we're pro probably tell, we're getting along to the finishing stages. About the only thing left to do is uh, touch up paint here and there, um, do the second coat of paint throughout the house, and then you know finish up small projects like um, the baseboards still need to be finished. Now that all the uh, LED light has been yanked out and we're gonna save that for a DIY project, uh, we also need to look at putting in our handrail uh, for safety's sake. At least put in a handrail down one side. Um, so that's still yet to come. That's the big... Most of the work in, that's left inside is just carpentry and painting. So that's what we're working on here. Still waiting on the uh, stained glass door uh, windows. Um, from somewhere in Manila. According to what the engineer has told us, he's uh, looking at some place in Manila, waiting on them to get the materials to be able to build it. Um, other than that, you know, like I said, our uh, landscapers are moving right along out here and uh, turning this barren yard into a small oasis. Looking great. And our... Uh, our HVAC guys are starting to do all the connections. So, continuing with that. All right, guys, did you have a dab of do time? Uh, the landscapers are headed home, and our other guys are headed home. Um, we had a good, good Monday morning uh, with the small crews that we had. Um, the landscapers showed up. They started putting down roots. Uh, so, a lot of our trees and shrubs uh, being put into place. And our uh, electricians, oh not electricians, sorry, our, um, our air conditioning guys showed up today as well. Uh, they did the electrical connections um, for and pressurizing of the systems of the uh, condensing units 
um, to be ready for tomorrow when the electrician is here uh, to go over the outlets and uh, breakers with them, uh, make sure everything's connected properly and do the commissioning of our uh, air conditioners. So y'all come back tomorrow and watch that. That'll be interesting. Um, if y'all like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Costa Texpina star right over here and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen. You'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again tomorrow, have a great afternoon and God bless.